So this question is related to the fluids and viscosity. The student carry out experiment to determine the viscosity of uh, washing up liquid using the apparatus. So solid metal is there, cylindrical glass, washing up liquid. A student released a sphere from the top and made a measurement using a stopwatch and a meter rule. So determine uh, so the terminal velocity of a sphere can, could be determined. Describe a method student could use to determine an accurate value of a terminal velocity. You may draw a diagram. You may add to a diagram above. So what we'll add? We'll add equally space markers, basically like rubber bands. And using a meter rule, we'll measure a distance and we'll record a time because if it reach the terminal velocity, it will take like here time is T1, here time is T2, time is T3. So if the sphere reaches the terminal velocity, it will take the same time to cross uh, between the two marks. So to identify whether, so we'll place like rubber bands or the markers and we'll measure the distance between the two markers by using a meter rule and record the time and distance between the markers and the time will get the speed. And to get the speed, that is distance over time, we will simply use the formula. So you will mention here, like one mark is for just mentioning like markers are placed, then measure the distance by a meter rule or a meter scale, then record the time interval by using a stopwatch. And then uh, to get the speed, speed is distance divided by time, we'll get the terminal speed. Next part, explain why the use of large sphere would increase the percentage uncertainty in the calculated value of a terminal velocity. Basically, what will happen? You have the formula speed is equals to distance over time. So if we use a large sphere, then the time which we are recording because uncertainty or percentage uncertainty in time is equals to normally a reaction. So a stopwatch can measure 0 0.01 second, but that is the smallest value which we can record. That is a reaction time divided by value recorded into 100. So value recorded as we are using a large sphere, large sphere can, will move in a short time as compared to a small sphere. So the value recorded will be shorter as a result when value recorded is small, the percentage uncertainty in the measurement of the time will increase. So large sphere will have a greater weight will be there. And the time it like as it is falling through, it will take a short time. As a result, when it is taking a short, short time, so uncertainty in recording the time interval will increase as the value recorded is decreasing. Like maybe the small sphere was taking say 10 seconds to move through, but the large sphere might take two seconds. So two seconds, smaller value. So it will have a higher percentage uncertainty. Here, 10 seconds comparatively will have a lower percentage uncertainty. So the terminal velocity will also increase because if the time is shorter, it means it will have a higher terminal velocity. But we are finding a terminal velocity by using a distance and time. So distance is not changing, but the time gets shorter. So it increases the percentage uncertainty in the measurement. This question, we have to complete a free body force diagram for a sphere when it is falling at a terminal velocity. So when it is falling at a terminal velocity, the weight of the sphere is acting downward, the up thrust acting upward, and the viscous drag or the drag force is also acting upward because the viscous drag or drag force always oppose the motion. The student obtain a value for a terminal velocity, calculate the viscosity, the radius of a sphere is given, uh, weight of the sphere and the density of a washing up liquid is also given. So we can use a formula here. We have, like we can say, the weight is equals to up thrust plus the viscous drag. So weight is equals to mg. Up thrust is equals to density of the fluid, volume of object and gravity and viscous drag or drag force that is given by formula 6 pi eta 
R and B. Because it's a sphere, remember volume of a sphere, volume of object is always 4 by 3 pi r cube. Because Stokes law is applicable for a sphere and it is moving at a slow speed, that is a conditional. So same thing. They give us the weight of the sphere. So this part is already given. So I don't have to convert uh, this W is already given. So density of object, sorry, density of the fluid is also given here. The density of a washing up liquid is there. Volume of sphere, volume of object four by three pi r cube radius is given. So using a radius, we'll get the volume. Gravity is 9.81, six is constant, pi is constant. This is eta, which we are finding. R is a radius and V is a terminal speed. So we just substitute these all in the formula to get the value for viscosity. Okay. 